Hey, the game. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do an ash blonde wig. Um, basically like a tutorial. Um, I did. I'm gonna do mine in a Ziploc bag, and I'm gonna show y'all that later. But what I'm gonna do right now is show you guys what come in the box. What come in the box is this little headband type. And um, oh, I, I didn't tell what hair. Who hair this is? This hair is mega look. And to be honest, I worked with it before, but I I had bundles last time. But um, what else comes in the bag? In the box, I mean, it's a clip, a wig cap, and a bracelet, and another, um, you know, edge brush. I have so many edge brushes. But now what I'm going to show you guys is the wig. And um, I got a 613 wig from them, and I honestly love it. It's a 13 by 4 straight 613 lace wig. The wig is 22 inches. And, you know, it's cute or whatever, and I am ashy, so do not mind that. But um, I'm just going to show y'all what the hair look like and all that stuff. This wig also comes with an uh, adjustable strap already um, built into the wig. You can't take it off. Well, you could take it off if you want to cut it if you wanted to. And it also comes with adjustable straps. And it also comes with a back lace in the back. And to be honest, that's all that it comes with. And I am loving it. Like, I cannot wait to dye this wig so I can look good. So I went out and I went to the dollar store. And I picked up this ash blonde co color right here. And um, to be honest, I did a wig like this before. But this time I'm going to do it better. That's my first time doing it. And I, um, this time I'm going to do it in a Ziploc bag. I'm going to put the dye in a bag. And I'm going to put the wig in the bag as well. So, um... When it comes down for me to do it, it won't be hard. And I have four of the same colors. I have four of them. Four ash blonde colors. Because, you know, I love the color when I did it the last time. So, it looks like this. What it looks like. I'm a guy from the Family Dollar. And this is what the wigs look like and all that stuff. And I'm finna get to the black bag. Okay, so... I don't know if this is going to fit in here, but I have a zip like that, this color. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and open up all of them and just go ahead and um, start pouring them in the bag. So I can put the hair in there and make sure it disputes it right. Because last time when I dyed it, I didn't get all of the hair. And that was a bummer. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the colors in this bag. Okay, y'all, so I have my three little things. I'm only going to use three this time because um, last time I used four, I used them all, I put them all in, on the hair. And then when I went back to look at it to, you know, make sure I dyed it all, I didn't dye it all. So, um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut these tops off and go ahead and start pouring them in the bag. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the wig in the bag as well. Okay, y'all, so as y'all guys can see, um, what I'm doing right now, I'm going to take it out the bag and just do it like this. I'm going to probably like, girl, you should have did the other way. To be honest, the other way take too long, and I'm not trying to be here all day. So, um, where's the lace at? Okay, so this is the lace part, and I can see I can see that I put way too much on the top. So, what I'm going to go through and do is um, put it on my mannequin head and go ahead and distribute the product through the whole hair and all that stuff this is what it's looking like all of it's not dyed but the roots dyed first as y'all can see but as long as my front is dyed right this time because last time my front was not dyed right but um i'm gonna go make this look even and i'm gonna come back once um it's washed out and all that okay y'all so this is what it looked like after i washed it out um i did dye all of it thank god because last time i had it and i was like oh my god i didn't dye it all but i dyed it all what i'm going through now is brushing it um I do have a little shedding, but you know what's funny? When I was washing it, I didn't have any shedding at all. Like, when I was going through and washing it, it had no shedding. But I just love how this color look on my skin, y'all. So, I cannot wait to um put this wig on and all that stuff. Because, yes. But, um, what I'm going to do is go through and finish brushing this. Okay, y'all, so it's the next day. I went in and put my wig on. Um, I did blow dry some pieces because it all didn't want to, it, it wasn't all dry when I woke up. And also, I went ahead and put some foundation, um, like, on my legs. I don't know if y'all guys can see, but I, because I wanted to blend really good. Like, this time, this time I'm going around and doing it, I want it to look 
really good. I don't have time for it to be looking like how it was last time. You know, last time it was cute, but since I know more about wigs, I've been applying more wigs, you know, I want it to look like really, really good. So um, I already went ahead and cut the sides off and all that stuff. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and glue it down. But before I glue it down, I wanna um, wax all these hairs to the back, like put the wax on my hair and wax it to the back. So um, when I do glue it down, it doesn't stick. My hair doesn't stick to the glue and all that. But other than that, I, I'm feeling this color. I just look a hot mess right now. Like I just got out of the shower and all that. So um, I'm gonna shush and glue this. Okay, you guys, I went ahead and glued it and tied it down. What I'm going to go do now is go in and do my makeup. And then, as you guys already know, if you are new, what I usually do is tie my hair down, do my makeup, and I'm going to come back and style my hair. So, I'm going to see you guys later. Okay, you guys, my makeup is done. Now, I'm going to go in and put some curls in my wig because um, I don't know if y'all guys noticed, but um, I need to straighten this hair out. So you know what that means. Um, it's poofy and I don't want to go through and straighten it out. So I'd rather put curls in there and go the easy way out because I like the easy way. Ooh, ooh. So this is what my lace is looking like and all that stuff. I'm gonna go in and fix it, of course. Like, bear with me, y'all. I just took the scarf off. But um, go through and comb it. Oh, I'm gonna take out something. Oh, another thing. Um, something that was really hard for me was um this like it's a track oh never mind it um you know i guess the hair dried because i put some mousse on there and i put a durat like if y'all know how to get y'all wigs flat this is all you gotta do hot comb it put a durag on top and um some mousse or something like that and your stuff is gonna be flat you know what i'm saying like it's gonna be flat but what i'm gonna go in and do is spray it with this oil stuff this good stuff right here without dripping it on my clothes because the top is not all the way and um i'm gonna go through and put some nice curls in here yeah, but um other than that i thought i was like i was in here i was like man this hair probably not gonna look right it's probably gonna give me a hard time but other than that it really didn't give me no hard time and i just can't wait to see what i look like because y'all understand it's been a little minute since i done got cute cute you know what i'm saying i just been regular cute like i just been regular cute y'all it's been a minute since y'all done seen me get cute cute but um I'm just gonna go through and do this real quick and not too tight because I don't want my hair. I don't know if this hair changed colors. Okay, this hair does not change colors once you curl it, so that is wonderful. So I'm gonna just go through and do the same thing to everyone. Okay, you guys, this is how my hair turned out. I went for the little side part. I went in and did some edges on this. Y'all, I, I am feeling myself. Like, this, I don't really slate myself. Like, y'all catch me in this wig all the time. Like, I love this hair. And, like, the, the hair holds curls because I had left. I had a middle part, and I was like, mm, I'm going to switch it. And I was looking at her, I was like, hmm, what else can I do to spice this look up? Other than that, I really like it. And I like the fact that I didn't go and straighten it to make it bone straight. I just went in and put the, the curls in it with the wand. So, I made, like, a little 
thick fluffy look you know i am a lot of people say colorful wigs look cute on me and all that stuff but me personally i have to say that i love the um this is the color that i will the color that will forever i feel like look good on my skin tone like i'm brown golden the hair is golden like well, it's not golden, but you know, the hair is ash blonde. And I feel like instead of, cause I feel like blonde blonde don't look good on my skin tone. So if you're my color and you wanna like try blonde, but you don't wanna try like go too bold with it, do an ash blonde. Like honey, ash blonde look good on everybody. Dark people, dark skins, light skins, brown skins, everybody, you know what I'm saying? So go ahead and get you some ash blonde. Uh, and also this wig is from Mega Look Wig. So make sure you go check them out in the link down below. And also, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you make sure to raise the subscribe button down below. And if you're not following my social media, still be on the screen because everybody else like my social media. So why don't you? And I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Bye.